you want to know everything about the Richmond metro area, well, you have come to the right place. On this channel, we talk about what it's really like to work, live, and play right here in RVA. And don't forget, if you're thinking about moving to the area or maybe just have questions, give me a call or shoot me a text at 804-380-6041 or send me an email, whichever is most convenient. So we are gonna explore Saunders Station, which is a condominium community out in the heart of Short Pump, which is within Western Henrico County. It's almost to the Goochland County line on Broad Street. This is a condominium complex that has double-decker condominiums, as I call them. So you have two levels in each condominium, and then you have two condominiums on top of one another. So you have a bottom unit and then a top unit. Now, this is a very unique community. It was one of the first with kind of this design that I'm aware of in this area. And we're gonna take a look at the pros, the cons, and what you need to know if you're considering purchasing a condominium in this area. There are also some townhomes a little bit farther back in the community, but we're gonna focus on the condos today. So there is an HOA in this community. It's a monthly one, about 200, a little bit more a month. And it covers a number of different things. Not only your community area maintenance, which is fairly typical for condominiums, but also there's a pool and a clubhouse. And within the clubhouse is a cycling classroom. So if you're into those spin classes, it might be a great spot for you. There's also sidewalks within the community and a playground. The apartments that are just down the way has a dog park as well. Now, this condominium complex is within kind of a, a shopping area that has tons of different restaurants and stores of all kinds. And of course, there's a grocery store and it happens to be one of my favorites, it's Wegmans. Now, you may have heard me talk about Wegmans in the past and all of their delicious baked goods and prepared meals, but it's definitely a place that you will want to go and visit and at least spend some time exploring to see if you might like to shop there as well. They have um, tons of different groceries, so if you are a chef then or enjoy cooking, you can get just about anything that you're looking for on your recipe list. But if you don't like to cook like me, then you have lots of prepared food options. You can go and grab something that's already cooked um, and heated up and eat right there in the store, or you can grab something to bring home and just stick in the microwave or in the oven and heat it up and enjoy. So super easy for those that don't have a lot of time or the desire to cook a dinner. There's also a Cabela's and a Duluth Trading for the outdoorsmen. Um, so definitely want to check those out. And all of this is within this community. On the opposite side of Broad Street, just across the way, there's another big shopping area where you have stores and restaurants. There's a Mellow Mushroom there. Um, Five Guys is actually on this side of the street, so if you're in the mood for a good hamburger and french fries, try them. Um, and there's tons of other things to explore just right down the way. Now, one thing that some people might consider a pro and others might consider a con is the fact that there is public transportation that runs out this area, uh, in this area. Now, if you have watched some other videos that I've done on the city of Richmond, you may have heard me mention the GRTC buses. Well, in the last couple years, GRTC has expanded their route and it now comes down Broad Street all the way into this area. So if you are looking to um, explore public transportation and utilize that as a method of getting around town, then all you have to do is just go up a short ways and the bus stop is right there. Also in this area is one of the newer short pump emergency rooms. So you don't have to travel to one of the larger hospitals with the emergency rooms. You can just go right there. 
Now, if, since this is in Henrico County, you have a lot of the amenities that I've mentioned in previous videos available to you, like the um, paid fire and EMS service that you do not have to pay for if you should need to call them. So if you had to call an ambulance and they came, one, you're gonna get advanced life support personnel on the vast majority of the units, but you're not gonna receive a bill from the county. Same with fire service if you should have to call them. Another perk that they offer is if you are unable to change your smoke detectors, you can just call and the fire department will come out and assist you with that. These particular condos have sprinkler systems in them, so that's an added protection if one of the units should catch on fire. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside of one. If you're thinking about price point, you can plan for anywhere from 320 on up. The smaller units tend to range between your 320 and 350, and your larger units are typically higher than that. They're about 1,570 square feet. This one that we're gonna look at today is a two bedroom unit. There are also some three bedroom units available. As you can see, when you enter the front door where we just came in, it's an open concept. So you have plenty of room to have a couch and some chairs for seating for guests or for you just to relax after a long day, um, as well as an area that you can use for dining. And then of course your kitchen. The kitchen is very well appointed. It has um, an island here where you could put some bar stools and use um, to eat at if you wish. Now this one does have some upgrades that some of the other units do not have in this area. So you might be able to see the blue reflection there on the um, laminate plank floor. That's an under the island light that this particular homeowner installed. There's also under the cabinet lighting that you can see there, which really helps to brighten everything up. And check out this granite countertop and gorgeous black, uh, backsplash that the particular seller picked out and put in this unit. The cabinets are very nice. Um, and then of course you have your stainless steel appliances. Through this door here is a one car garage. And most of the units in here have this one car garage, but you can see it's pretty spacious. There's also a half bath. Of course, you have your recessed lights that are throughout the unit. And then you have your decorative pendants over the island that this um, homeowner selected. So this is the downstairs um, unit and this is level one of your downstairs unit. The upstairs units look similar, but just a little bit of a different layout. So up the stairs we go to the second level. You can see that there is wall-to-wall -wall carpeting up on the second floor in this particular condo. Down here to the right of the stairs, you'll see that there's an office area with built-in desks. This is not typical of units in this particular complex, but again, a nice um, option that some may have. And out here is a lovely balcony where you can sit and relax or on those nice spring and fall days, open it up and let some fresh air in. You can see the back sides of the units also through the, the door here. All right, let's take a look at the bedrooms. So again, this particular unit is a two bedroom. This is the guest room. It does have a nice closet. And of course you have the guest bathroom. It has a closet for a stackable washer and dryer. Now down the hallway on the other end of the condo is the primary bedroom suite. And check out the um, tall, woodwork that uh, are in these. I just love that look. You can see that there are tons of windows on that front wall to let lots of natural light in. 
Some of the units do have plantation shutters um, and others have your shades or your blinds like you see here. It's an extremely spacious bedroom with two walk-in closets and a, a primary bathroom as well that's attached. It has double vanities, tile flooring, and stand-up shower. The guest bathroom had the tub and shower combo. Don't forget to click on that like button if you're finding this video helpful. It really helps me out. So what do you think? Does this look like a great place to work, live, and play in RVA? Come join me. I'd love to show you around. Give me a call or shoot me a text at 804-380-6041 or send me an email, whichever is most convenient.